branch has on too so we're gonna try to deep this pizza it actually looks really good like i was kind of worried that oh that looks nice look at the crust guys oh my gosh i'm really looking forward to this like i was so worried because little caesar's is like the best pizza ever but this looks good so they've been promoting their deep dish pizza and today I actually got two boxes because so, i'm so busy I want to garlic sauce, but they didn't have any, but they did have marinara sauce. Oh, their cup is so cute, says little Jesus. Okay, so let's try this. It's supposed to be a Detroit style deep dish pizza from little Jesus. So it's a, oh, look at the cheese, guys. Oh my God. Wow. Let's see. Because I know back in the day it was like even before they came to Jamaica, Little Caesars was like the cheapest pizza you could possibly get. It was super cheap, and as you went in, you could get a pizza and just cut. This is really good. kind of remind me of pizza hut you know pizza hut's pan pizzas it's so good i love how the crust the whole thing is like so thick look like that thick ass crust and then the side is like caramelized oh my god it's so good guys Even dominoes are run for their money. <laughs> wow, that's really good. The deep dish pizza has to get like an eight out of ten. That's so delicious. You know, I was planning to do this mock bag, right? I was so worried. I was like, oh my gosh. Last time I had the diseases, it was just meh. <laughs> Sorry. But this is not meh, this is delicious. <laughs> so I just came from the gym 
and it's now 1 20. Funny how you wake up so early and then the day just flies by. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Whoa! The garlic in the marinara sauce is so good. It pops in the marinara sauce. I love that. Themselves with this, so wait. I went to the gym today, right? I don't know about you guys, but when I go to the gym, I just want to do my workout and cut. It's not time to socialize, that's why I try my best to go to the gym when it's empty. But I went late today, so I'm going to the gym. But and this is the, the new gym in Port Moore in the Big Buy Plaza. And I've been going for a couple weeks now and I think the first time I went I saw somebody I recognized. Like she went to my high school or something. <coughs> Whoa! But today now I'm in the gym and I think I was mean though so I feel bad. But yeah, I'm in the gym, and then she comes up to me, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, did you go to Immaculate?" I'm like, "Yeah, I did." Like, I was, I was hyper about it, you know. And then she was like, "Oh my gosh, I knew you look so familiar, but I don't remember your name." I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I know, right? Isn't that crazy?" And then I just walked away. I'm so stupid. <laughs> like, I'm so bad with social interactions. I'm just so bad. But the thing is, I'm not <laughs> at the gym to have a full-blown conversation. Worse, I was on FaceTime with my boyfriend. So I literally just wanted to go back to talking to him. But I think she wanted me to have a full conversation, like she wanted me to tell her my name. But the thing is, I don't know her. Like, even at Immaculate, I've seen her around. I don't know her. She doesn't know me either. She just know that we went to the same high school and I think she's in a year lower than me but yeah I feel like and she looks like a really chatty Kathy to be honest because after she spoke to me she spoke to like three different other people I'm at the gym to work out and leave not to talk to anybody but it was weird and I feel like I should have handled it better but I just didn't want to talk. I don't really like feel bad though. I know every time I go to that gym, I'm probably gonna have to say hi to her. But that's it. I'm just gonna be nice and like do a wave. But I'm. Where's my earphones? Are in my freaking ears, bro. That's alone to tell you do not talk to me. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> People literally go to the gym to socialize. That's crazy. Okay. This is the the choice deep dish pizza. It's really good. I have to give this an 8 out of 10. Flavor, good cheese, pull, everything. It's hot, it's thick. The crust on the side, perfect. Even though it's not like a crust, it's like a caramelized thing, but it's so good and the best thing about little scissors is it's cheaper than a regular pizza place like Domino's expensive pizza hut expensive the other pizza place that's kind of cheap is like price mart but if I'm in the mood for pizza and I don't want to spend all the money. I'm definitely coming back here to get this deep. I hope they keep it on because it's like a new thing on the menu. I really hope they keep it on the menu. So now we have the Italian style cheese bread. 
I don't know. Is it the flavoring that makes it Italian or? <laughs> oh, it's thick like the pizza too. I don't know, you guys, but I hate thin crumb, thin crust pizzas. I like when my pizza is thick. This literally reminds me of pizza or pizza. It's thick. The the crust is nice. Oh my gosh, perfect. This literally reminds me of the my pizza box from Pizza Hut. Uh. Whoa, that was a huge one. Okay, let's try this Italian style cheesy bread. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely the seasoning. That makes it Italian style. I wish it had more cheese though. I think I had cheese inside the crust. And just put the cheese on the top. Mm. This is okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, for you guys who haven't heard, Taito came out of prison. <laughs> the king of dancehall. The person who literally runs Jamaica, I'm joking. But yeah, he came out of prison and it was such a big deal. Like, everybody was so happy and excited. Like, it was such a phenomenal moment. It's so weird. Oh my god, everybody's literally just lay waiting for him to drop his concert. If that man throws a concert, I swear, everybody's gonna fly down for it. It's gonna be the biggest thing. It might even be big as Jamaica Carnival, to be honest. <laughs> It'll literally be, his concert will literally be like a tourist attraction. People go book them flights to Jamaica, go make enough money. <laughs> you think they are content. My thing is, where the hell is he going to find space big enough to hold that content? That's my thing. Stadium big enough, but still, stadium can't hold the whole of Jamaica. Plus, far enough. Wow. I actually love when cheese is burnt. <laughs> it has such a great texture and flavor to it. But yeah. <laughs> but there were so many videos online with him just coming out of prison. Oh my god. When he came out of prison, he was cussing and saying, oh my gosh. Prison is hell, you stay out of crime and violence. It's so sad. It literally looked like he was suffering in there. He was in prison for like 13 years. Do the crime and do the time, right? <laughs> I guess he feel like they want to get catch, but that was crazy. He's so damn lucky. Now, you know what's crazy too? He literally came out right before a public Jamaica holiday. So it was like a big, big thing, big, big celebration. I know today everybody's celebrating, partying, everything. Because best weekend ever. Best weekend ever is from Smirnoff, I think, and Dream Weekend. I think Campari took over Dream Weekend now. But for those who don't know what those things are, Dream Weekend is like a um, weekend long event. So, Jamaica has Emancipation Day and Independence Day. Well, Emancipation Day is the 1st of August. And our Independence Day is the 6th of August. So, Dream Weekend or those party promoting people, parties and stuff, they literally use that weekend to have like like a lot of parties like two parties a day and the 
first to the sixth. So the six days of party. The first this year landed on a Thursday. So some companies some companies will give you the week off for emancipation and independence, but not all companies, but partying starts from the first. So you have a party maybe the, in the night of the first and then the next day you have a morning party or you have a brunch party and then you have a water party in the day and then you have a night party. Like, it's crazy. It's only just one bag of party for the whole independence emancipation. That's literally what it is. The bird cheese is the best part. Wish the Italian cheesy bread had more cheese. Flavor is good, but I just wish it has more cheese. Because if it's a cheese bread, it should be a cheese bread. Like, you should fill it with cheese. So I have to give it a six. The pizza literally tastes like it has more cheese than the cheese bread. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. And I got two. The reason I got two because I thought they would just give me one big box. But it's a good thing I got two because it's basically done. It's like it's like a four miniature pizzas. artists being locked up and then not even a dancer artist literally the biggest dancer artist known to mankind being locked up then being free like oh my god like everybody so many people were at the literal courthouse lay awaiting the man to come out of prison he's like he's like royalty <laughs> To give the man his props because he's written some really lyrical, really good songs. Yes, you have some that really make no sense or it just raw charm or whatever, but there's no dancehall artist now that's better than Bad Cartel. None. None of them can compare. The all of them are similar the same thing. So influence, unless. Masika sing influential songs, but I'm talking about the young, the young up and coming dancer artists. It's one bag of foolish things that I sing. Not the not influential. <laughs> and it was funny, I've seen that Jamaica has now been listed as a level three category as not to travel to country because of how bad our crime is. Isn't that sad? Like, I don't even know who's in charge of that, but they're literally saying if you're planning to travel to Jamaica, think about it before you actually travel because they have a really bad crime rate. That's literally what our country has come to. But I don't even think we're that bad. Because you see how, like, Americans or... Like, I saw on the news the other day, a teenager just went around just offing people. You never hear that happening in the Caribbean, ever. Ever, ever, ever. 
Carmen Jamaica, I don't think we bother people that don't bother us. Unless they rob you, but it's not really that bad. Other than it being like a turf war or whatever. Is it really that bad not to travel here? But it's just sad that we are listed as one of those countries as not to travel to because our crime and borders are so just so terrible. Not need for fix. Because our tourism is what helps pay the bills. If you get what I'm saying. Tourism sector is like a big deal for us, so if people just stop traveling here because of the crime, the country has to suffer. And the country does not suffer because people go to university realize when you get jobs out here, then pay little and nothing, and you can get paid more abroad, so they literally leave. <laughs> so you literally come to Jamaica for the schooling, then you go abroad to get the good money. Isn't that crazy? And then the government is complaining that too many people are leaving. If you pay the people what they should be getting or a good enough salary, why would they leave? Make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. But yeah, I'm happy that Little Caesars didn't disappoint me. Everyone was raving about this pizza. And I'm glad that it came out so good. <laughs> it's a look empty. But I have another one. Look. Ta da! To go home to. But yeah, this was a good mukbang. This is Caesar's. You surprised me. I'm so happy that the pizza turned out so delicious. It was so worth it. I was really nervous, but you guys did really well. And I'm happy. I'm happy for you guys. You step up your game for a few years. Okay. This is the end of today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. The food was delicious. It was totally worth it. Don't know why I was worried. But yeah, it was good. You guys need to try the deep dish pizza. I loved it. It's thick just like how I like my pizza. thick, garlicky, cheesy. The pepperoni actually tastes really, really good. Because I went to Domino's the other day and their pepperoni had this meaty taste I didn't like about it. Like a raj thing about it. Mm -mm. This pepperoni actually tastes like really good pepperoni, so you guys should try. That's the end of today's video, guys. I'm literally trying to reach a thousand subscribers to help a girl out. <laughs> Please subscribe to join the food frenzy and become my fellow foodie. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching and support your girl. Bye.